Welcome to Grade 12 Math Algebra Review Complete Course. Today I am going to talk about the number system. Now if you are not watching from um, a mobile device um, there is a mobile app for this. Uh, it contains um, quizzes and as well as other study materials uh, for you to study algebra. So if you're interested, you could check out our link in the video description below. Um, in my opinion, it is very helpful and it would indeed increase your effectiveness in studying for grade 12 um, math. Uh, the app is um, for both iPhone and Android. So if you have a um, mobile phone um, that is either an iPhone or an Android, check it out, it's free. So let's first talk about real numbers. Now what is real numbers? These are numbers that are both positive and negative and they could include decimal numbers as well as rational and irrational numbers. So um, example of this can be 1, um, 1 1.23, uh, minus 99, and uh, minus 198.568. So now let's look at um, in a lot of cases, uh, we are going to touch really huge numbers, um, such as uh, a mole, right? Um, one mole is of a very, very large number. Um, now, how do we display these numbers instead of, like, let's say, um, one trillion, um, six billion, cells right now how do you display that well what we use is uh, called scientific notation it is based on um, the assumption that with big numbers uh, numbers of um, the lower order the digits in the lower order like let's say um, the tenths and the ones or the hundreds um, of a uh, billion or a million is very um, insignificant uh, comparing to the whole number so we can write this as a, um, a value times 10 to the power of whatever your your um, your digits how many digits that you have so let's say you have um, 5.3 times um, 10 to the power of 9 it means that you would have five and then you would have nine zeros attached to the back so um, so with 5.3 you would have 53 and with eight zeros attached to the back now there are two ways to display scientific notation and uh, one is with let's say for an example again 5.3 times 10 to the power of 9 you could have 5.3 times 10 and then you would have the upper uh, um, 9 associated with the 10 or there's another way which is 5.3 uh, e9 which is the same thing now there are other number types um, uh, and uh, let's go through the other number types that uh, are contained within uh, new of uh, the real numbers. So uh, within the real numbers, there is one called the natural numbers. And the natural numbers are all of the positive whole numbers. Um, so this is, let's say, 1, 50, 1,000, and a million. These are all natural numbers. Now, integers. Um, integers is a uh, much more wider in terms of range. 
um, it covers both positive and negative whole numbers. So um, uh, let's say if one is in there, negative one is also an integer. So as any negative number like negative 7 and negative 43 um, as well as some of those positive numbers as well such as 8 and 35 so so now let's um, look at what is the rational and the decimal system so rational um, can be represented as fractions and decimals um, some rationals can be converted to a finite decimal numbers and uh, what that means is it will stop at a certain point in terms of decimal places so let's say uh, three quarters so three fourths uh, when you convert it to decimal 0.75 if you look at the fraction two fifths um, if you divide the 2 by 5, you would get 0 0.4, which is a finite decimal number. However, some rationals cannot be converted to a finite decimal number and would have an infinite repeating decimal places. An example of this is one third or two thirds, where um, two thirds you would have. Um, if you divide 2 by 3, you would have 0 0.66666666. And if you round it in the back, your last digit would be 7. But in the case of the um, infinite uh, uh, decimal places, you would just continue on with um, the 6s on the right side of the decimal. Now, in the um, last slide, you've seen what is a rational number. And those are either with a finite decimal places or repeating uh, uh, values in the um, right-hand side of the decimal. So now we have something called the irrationals. <clears throat> so what are irrationals? Well, irrationals are um, numbers where cannot be written in whole numbers or fractions and it also has a infinite and non-repeating on the right of decimal. Uh, the famous example is pi which is um, 3.14 that is the most well-known digits but and then there are an infinite amount of digits that don't repeat nor have a pattern of itself. So pi is a irrational number. Another one is root 2. Because root 2, when you um, actually put it as a uh, decimal place number, if you remove that root, it will be a, um, a number uh, where it will have a lot of non-repeating decimal values to the right side of the decimal and irrational numbers in most cases um, they are represented by uh, roots so that is the end of this lecture thank you for watching um, if you are interested in more of our videos uh, please visit our um, YouTube channel the name of the YouTube channel is Mike Tudor and I have a lot of learning videos that covers the um, um, grade 12 uh, uh, subjects. Um, we also have a link in, the U in our YouTube video descriptions. Um, that link would lead you to our site where you would find um, some quizzes, other study materials uh, pertaining to this course, as well as um, a link to our free mobile app uh, for your iPhone and Android, where you can view all of the study materials and um, quizzes from your mobile device. 
and if you enjoy um, looking at our videos um, and if you want to support us um, please like our videos um, share it with your friends share it on Facebook um, Twitter as well as subscribe to our channel I hope that you find this information helpful um, have a great day